So I'd like us to talk about something this video and um, this is something that has been um, I've really felt um, something for for the longest time probably around four years and um, this is human it's called a human marking scheme okay and uh, during this period when I thought about this I was going through a really tough time in life and I had so many questions you know I was like why why is life what it is you know we are all chasing after you know the the, the dream, you know, the good house, the good cars, the the beautiful wife, the lovely children, the money in the bank. And I came to realize that's a human marking scheme. What's a marking scheme? It's basically a system that awards a score for a correct deed. Okay? And that's the same thing. The human marking scheme is a system that awards human approval for a status of something you've done in life. Okay? And so it dictates to us what success is. And so during that period of my life, I believed that for me to be successful, I must have the proper job, I must have the right job title, I must have been to the right school, you know, all those things. And these are the questions you will find in the back of people's minds. You know, what car do you drive? Is it a German machine or is it just a mode of transport? Okay? What school did you go to? Did you go to a group of schools? Or did you go to a polling station kind of school? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, what job title do you have? How much money do you earn? Okay? And we also find ourselves using the social media to show those things to others because what we are looking for is for human approval. Checked into JKIA. You know, going to... Nobody checks into Nikomba and writes that. Oh, I'm going to Gikomba. Oh, you don't post when you're eating Giveri. You only post when you're eating expensive food and such manner of things. Because there's a human marking scheme that has shown us to believe what success is. And so we all chase to achieve that. I remember there was a survey that was done and the youth of Kenya were asked about corruption. And the majority of them were willing to engage in corrupt deeds and said, if you steal enough money, then you're safe. So they're willing to steal that much so that they can live a certain lifestyle. Which we and the human marketing team has shown to be right. But guys, we are chasing the wrong thing. We are chasing perishable things. Things that will not last a lifetime. And let me tell you today. Alright? Um, success is not achieving what others have achieved. Success is achieving what you are created to achieve. So once you achieve what you are created to do, then you are, are successful. Okay? And I'll tell you one thing. It's, there's, there's, there's an Indian philosopher, okay? And his name was Jiddu Krishnamatu. And he said that nature is busy creating absolutely unique individuals. Whereas culture has formed a single mold through which all of us should conform. And that is like judging a fish on its ability to fly. Or judging an eagle on its ability to swim. Judging an elephant on its ability to climb a tree. Guys, definitely if we use those things then they have failures. Those animals have failed. And that's the same thing we are doing in our lives. Okay? We are on paths that are not ours, and yet we want that success to be our success. Let me tell you, for example, in the hotel industry, where I work, we have different departments, and in every department, success is a different thing. In housekeeping, success is ensuring that the hotel is spick and span. It's clean and hygienic. That is success to them. In the sales department, success is ensuring that the hotel has proper occupancies of guests and they are paying a good rate. Okay? In the front office, success is ensuring that the front office associate offers world-class service to guests upon check-in, upon check-out, and the duration of their stay. So are you seeing success is different in every department? And that's the same thing, guys. We cannot live life, all of us, thinking that if I don't have, if I'm chilling with the boys, you know, the question is, hey, Dan, how many shambas do you have, my guy? What car do you drive? Do you have you bought a house? How much money do you have in the bank? You know, and we all think that that is success. And so some of us are living very miserable lives 
because we are chasing them. But I'm here to tell you that God created you uniquely individual for a certain purpose. And let me tell you, the moment you start living your purpose, then success is on the way. Because its success is within you. It is built within you. It's only hidden under potential. So until the day you will unearth this potential, until the day you will unearth the purpose, that which God created you for, then you will struggle each and every day, guys. Because you look at social media and you see other people living large and you realize, oh my God, I am not successful. You'll find other people who have better history, came from better families, and you will believe to yourself that I'm not successful. Guys, this is a trick. No object knows its purpose. Only the manufacturer of an object knows the purpose. Alright? And when a manufacturer creates something, when he ships it out, he normally has probably a manual where you can go and read back to understand what was the purpose of this item. And today I'll tell you, if you sit down and ask yourself what your purpose is, that will be a difficult task. But if you take time to reconnect to your maker, reconnect to your creator, God who made you as an individual. Guys, think about it. How many items do human beings make that are identical? You can get a, pad, a key that can open five, ten padlocks. Because human beings make error, but God created us individually unique. Nobody has a fingerprint like mine. Nobody. Nobody has my DNA. We are over six, seven billion individuals. What does that tell you? That God created you for a purpose. You are not a mistake. You have a purpose that which God created you. And my prayer is reconnect to God. Because then the manufacturer will let, be, will let it be known to you what your purpose is. And the day you start fulfilling your purpose and living in accordance to your potential, I guarantee you, success will be a result of that. It's like a tree. A tree that bears no fruit attracts nobody. But that which bears fruit, everybody is attracted to it. And they come for the fruit that it gives. It's the same thing with you and me. The day you discover your purpose, you'll give the world value. And once you give the world value, then the world and the people in it will be attracted to what you're giving. And then you will be successful. So guys, my prayer is that God will give you peace of mind, peace of heart, wisdom and understanding that you will be able to know the purpose that which you are created for. And then and only then will you live a successful life. So until next time, I pray that you keep safe and God bless. Cheers, guys.